Good morning. My name is Ben Anderson. For, for those of you who don't know me, I am the nephew of Charles and Cynthia Carr, and I am going to be giving you guys a few thoughts of mine today. I, I briefly uh, confronted them on the street because of a situation that's been ongoing in our family, uh, a situation in which uh, they, they refuse to acknowledge that they, they've wronged our family in a, in a very horrible way. My, my mother called me again late last night in tears and uh, they, they don't care, Cynthia doesn't care that her son has uh, done some horrible, horrible dastardly deeds to her, her sister. Uh, she, she acts like uh, nothing's wrong and uh, that everything's okay. And it's not. And uh, I just wanted to read a few scriptures because uh, Charles is, uh, I, I'm going to call him Charles because that's who everyone will know him by. He's actually my uncle. Uh, but Charles has uh, refused to acknowledge uh, our uh, problem with him uh, and uh, he knows that we have a problem with him and, and that this is unscriptural for him to do this. He wants to be a pastor of a church yet he's not following the Bible. He wants to counsel people on how to live yet he doesn't uh, live by what he preaches. I want just to briefly read a few things and hopefully uh, hopefully you will give us a call. You know where to call us at Charles, you know our number and, and, uh, and Cindy if you would like to reach out. Uh, despite uh, Charles telling you not to do it or anyone in your family, you're always welcome to talk to us. No one's here to bite you or hurt you. Um, we would really like to make this go away and uh, restore uh, the unity in our family. Let me start in Matthew 7, okay? Verse 1, Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then thou shalt see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Let's move down to Matthew 5, 21. Ye have heard that it was said of them of old, Thou shalt not kill. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. This is key here, okay? Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, like say you're a pastor of a church or you counsel there, ETC, and, and there rememberest that thy brother hath ought against thee. Leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. Now, now let me ask you a question here. Uh, why, why do you think that my mother is crying two months after being extorted and, and flipped off and called nasty names by uh, Jacob Carr, who is the son of uh, Charles and Cynthia Carr? It, it's because she was wronged and by, by her own family, which hurts, I think, more than anything else is when your own family offends you. I think that is a, a hurt that just doesn't go away. And the Bible here tells you what to do when you have offended your brother or you know your brother's offended or upset with you. And Charles and Cynthia Carr are going to continue to go on living a, a life where they're pretending to be Christians, yet they're not following the Bible. So I want to say to you guys, I want to say to Charles and Cynthia Carr, um, I will continue to try to resolve this situation. I'll continue to... Um, reach out to you guys. Uh, please don't call the police on me again, and, and when you're on camera especially, and say that I'm committing acts of terror, workplace violence, when it's clearly not the case, and just prove it. Um, that's lying, and you shouldn't lie either. Uh, anyone can see the previous video here I put on YouTube and see that I did not attack you or cause you any harm or give any reason for you to call 911, and the officer, when he came, saw that and noted that. So, uh, Instead of calling that one, why don't you call me? All right? God bless.